yes children side by side we will write uh, means complete the written part also so here first you write lesson number means lesson number 7 name of the lesson is flower kingdom and after that we start new words today we will write new words also uh, which i have sorted out from this chapter and uh, if you find any other new word except these then also you can write and children you have to write each and every word two times okay draw a line at the center and first you write every word here after that side by side you say the spellings and write here also okay so first word is sepal s e p a l sepal second is reproduction r e p r o d u c t i o n reproduction this is t and third is a n t h e r and third fourth is f i l a m e n t filament fifth is s t i g m a stigma sixth word is p i s t i l pistil seventh is s t a m e n stamen eighth word is s t y l e style ninth word is o v a r y ovary and tenth word is p o l l i n a t i o n pollination so children these are the 10 words and next 11th word is n e c t a r nectar 12th word is h i v e hive 13th word is a p i a r i s t s apiarist 14th word is a p i a r y apiary so children all these words are i think new to you that new you have studied in this chapter so you write down all these words two times in your evs notebook okay and after that this diagram you have to draw it is given in your book you can see this diagram uh, from the book you try to make and here after drawing the diagram many of the students they are only drawing the diagram and they uh, they are not uh, labeling them so it is totally wrong when you draw the diagram it contains only half marks and half marks always we give you on the basis of their labeling labeling means names of all the parts so here these parts you have to label these a uh, green color part is called sepal these all the parts i'll show you uh, in the next class th uh, through a flower uh, any flower i'll show you and all the parts i'll show you uh, next our topic is also based on this only so today you try to draw it this is sepal and after that these orange light orange color bigger parts are called petals okay so here you can write anywhere but this is petal okay after petal you write 
about this part this upper part is called anther and this stalk like lower part part is called filament okay and these both the parts comprises a single word stamen means both the parts when combinedly we can call that is called stamen okay and after this come to the this central part means here four stamens are there 1 2 3 and 4 these four stamens are there and this basal swollen part is called ovary okay o v a r y ovary and this long tube like part this is called style s t y l e style and after that this terminal part at the top this is called stigma s t i g m a stigma okay and children these three parts just like stamen these three parts are coming under a single word pistil means pistil has these three parts all the three parts comprises together to form a pistil okay so children uh, about this uh, this much you have to write in your uh, notebook and uh, first you draw this diagram and after that you label all these parts and next time we will start with our next uh, topic or uh, next paragraph which contain about these all the parts and i'll show you flower also through the flower you can easily understand what are these different parts i'll show you the diagram side by side and show you different parts also okay children so for today write down these new words and this draw a diagram and um, read that part what i have today read for you means uh, four kind of different kind of seasonal uh flowers we have studied means on the basis of four seasons i have given you uh name of different flowers that also you read it and learn it and how that flower uh, means bud changes into flower so this we have read today so this much is i think enough for you slowly slowly we will complete this chapter So Jai Guru Dev and complete your work